Hey, Internet. Adam Glass here. Listen, I'm a dude, right? And the whole root beer thing seems to be kind of a dude's game. Now, I'm not saying there aren't non-dudes involved with root beer, but it just seems like if you look at who manufactures root beer, who consumes root beer, who is reviewing root beer online, it's a lot of dudes. So, listen, I'm not trying to say that root beer is somehow inherently misogynistic, but the rest of American history is, so why wouldn't root beer be? Eh. Anyway, I only mention it because we seem to have three root beers this week that are all named after dudes. So, you know, it's on my mind. I'm on a party like I did when I was aging. Too much root beer, stay up lazy. Adam Glasses, root beer around the First up, we've got BJ's Root Beer from the BJ's Brew House Restaurants. They were first opened in 1978, opened as BJ's Chicago Pizza in Southern California. They seem to have dropped the Chicago Pizza designation as expansion brought them closer to Chicago. Uh, maybe, maybe that's telling about the quality of their Chicago Pizza. <laughs> According to the label, they brewed the first test batch of root beer in 1996, which is the same year the company massively expanded uh, and converted to the brew house uh, style uh, with beer being made on premises and the root beer being made on premises. Um, they offered the root beer on tap starting in uh, 1997, then reformatted the recipe just a few years ago in 2016 to eliminate any artificial flavors. Now they're selling the bottled version out of Texas and they claim to be capturing the, uh, the essence of the in-house brewed stuff, which is pretty hard to do when you're bottling it. Uh, as far as the lack of artificial uh, flavors, artificial ingredients, no, it does say flavors, so we'll give them that. We've got carbonated water, cane sugar, root beer flavoring, natural flavor, caramel color, gum acacia, maltodextrin from corn, sodium benzoate to protect flavor, citric acid to protect flavor, propylene glycol <laughs> alginate, and calcium chloride. All natural. No, it doesn't say all natural. And those are arguably natural flavors. So we'll give them that. Next up, we've got Chumley Root Beer. It says, be awesome on the label. This is from Rocket Fizz. Now, it's our fourth or fifth root beer from Rocket Fizz. And I, I kind of think this one's a little funny because Chumley may be our first root beer that we've had on the show that's named after a uh, convicted criminal. Um <laughs> which is only funny as a counterbalance to one of my favorite Rocket Fizz root beers. And one of my favorite root beers in general is Judge Wapner root beer. Uh, Chumley's Conviction, by the way, if you're not familiar with who Chumley is, he is the comic relief character on the television show Pawn Stars, the reality show about a pawn shop in Las Vegas that airs on the History Channel. Don't know if they're still making it. Uh, Chumley was... Uh, <laughs> investigated for illegal weapons charges, which he pled guilty to, along with a charge of attempted possession of drugs, according to Wikipedia, which seems like the sort of thing that should not be a crime. The attempted possession of something? Listen, I know there are some crimes where if you try to do it, it's probably nearly as bad as actually doing it but attempted possession of drugs does not seem like it's one of them. In any case, the entire criminal justice system is terrible and, you know, abolish the police and the whole prison industrial complex. Chumley was on probation for three years and I'm sure that really fixed him. Uh, whatever problems caused him to stockpile weapons or try to buy drugs, yeah. Maybe it's just the psychological impact of being portrayed as a complete idiot on television about a dozen times a day, if I remember my History Channel schedule correctly. Anyway, we've also got Johnny Ryan's Birch Beer. We've had their root beer before. Johnny Ryan's is out of Niagara, New York. It was uh, founded by three brothers, uh, who I believe, in the early 20th century. 
Uh, the root beer was pretty good, I seem to recall. So looking forward to trying their birch beer as well. Well, let's have at this. While this is a uh, real sugar root beer, as I said, it does have corn derived maltodextrin because capitalism. Maltodextrin is usually added to products for mouth feel, uh, which apparently means to give it some sort of weighty thickness. This smells real caramely but there is some sassafras, some herbalism on the back. Let's give it a taste. Look at that color first. Pretty good head. Definitely something from the draft. Pretty dark. Nice browns and reds in there. Oh, it does smell good. Taste is very herbal. Almost like a less sugary root beer candy. Very sassafras, but not a lot else. Which I can't complain about. That's that's not bad at all. Whatever that multidextrin is doing, it's it's not as, as weighty as I might have expected from the description I just gave. It doesn't feel thick or syrupy. Mm. So I said, I believe I've had this in the restaurant before, uh, but it may have been before that 2016 reformatting of the flavor. I don't remember being super impressed by it in the restaurant, but this is pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. Let's try some Chumley. Thought Chumley was a twist cap, but that hurt my hand. There we go. Already see some nice head. Smells, uh, smells a little fruity. Maybe a little birch on that nose too. A little more brown head, which usually indicates a darker root beer, but this is about the same shade as our BJ's. Yeah, pouring that off, I get a little more birch on the nose. But kind of a kind of a generic, not super strong wintergreen, kind of almost like a cleaner. Hmm. Ooh, very herbally sassafras on the palate, though. A <laughs> little bit of uh, licorice there in the burp. Real nice bite throughout, though. Yeah. Not complicated, but pretty good. Not, not on par with Rocket Fizz's best. Judge Wapner is, is pretty high in my book, but... Chumley, hope your life's on track. Hope you got the help you need. Hope you got people to stop making fun of you all day, every day. But your namesake root beer is all right. I wonder if they're still selling it. Who can say? All right, Johnny Ryan. Let's cleanse the palate a little bit before we open that. As expected, classic birch beer, wintergreen on the nose, real strong, almost like you're smelling a, uh, a lifesaver.
anyone who's watched the show for a long time knows I have a strong preference for birch beer. This one's pretty light in color, almost a red birch beer, but it does seem to be meant to be brown, given we're in a, uh, a clear bottle here. But there's a little reddish, reddish tint, a little more transparent than our two root beers. Ooh, that tastes or smells real good. I'm real happy with this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the wintergreen's definitely tempered in the flavor. It's a little sassafras or vanilla balancing this out enough. I can't, can't taste exactly what it is except for the birch, which is still there, but is much weaker than in the smell. Hmm. Real, real mild bite on this just sort of on the tongue right when it hits and dissipates pretty quickly not my favorite birch beer still good I don't drink any birch beer well probably any birch beer I don't know I can't say that definitively I've not had all the birch beers I should have more birch beers man that's kind of what this project is about though right just having all the birch beers, all the root beers, we'll have it out. Keep on, keep on. Now that things are opening up again, maybe I'll go on tour and hit all the root beer stands all over the Midwest. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm not making any promises, but I do like hot dogs and root beer, so I might as well. It's hard to do when you're primarily a biker instead of a car driver, but figure it out. Maybe they'll build a train. Maybe I'll get a train and I can... Have a root beer train journey. Ah, that'd be nice. Well, a boy can dream. Anyway, of our three dudes here, I gotta say, I, I think I enjoyed Chumley's the best, but uh, but that's no surprise. Rocket Fizz knows what they're doing. BJ's is, is not too bad, though. Close, close second. And this, uh, this may be an upset, but uh, this birch beer... Normally, I'd put any birch beer above root beer, but uh, but Johnny Ryan's is, it's all right. But I think I like Chumley's bur root beer better. That's, uh, I gotta examine myself. Things are changing. What's wrong with me? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to drink this root beer. Then I'm going to drink those root beers. And that birch beer. Because what else am I going to do? I'm going to drink a lot of soda. Can't go see people. COVID's still a problem. People aren't getting vaccinated. Delta variant is spreading like wildfire. Wildflowers? I guess it might be spreading like wildflowers. Maybe that should be a new phrase. Goodness, the sugar's going straight to my head. I'm just all over all right all of a sudden uh anyway hey i know i've said it the last couple episodes but go get vaccinated if you haven't already if you can if you can't well encourage other people to because you know vaccination is good and people dying of covid is bad root beer is good too though okay bye